Hi everyone, welcome! My name is Haley, and today I want to show you how to make one of my favorite fall recipes of all time, this beautiful autumn harvest charcuterie board or cheese board. I love charcuterie boards because they look really fancy, but they're actually really easy and fun to put together. And if you're someone who feels a little intimidated by cooking or entertaining, I really couldn't recommend this recipe more. It's perfect for the holidays or any kind of gathering, and you can buy and prepare almost all of the ingredients in advance, so you don't even have to cook anything if you don't want to. It's just a matter of arranging the ingredients on the board in a visually appealing way, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do just that. To get started, I like to use an assortment of cheeses to kind of anchor the board, and here I'm doing three different varieties. I'm using a few wedges of brie for a soft cheese option, and I am also using manchego cheese, which is a hard cheese from Spain, as well as some good old fashioned cheddar cheese. You can always slice your cheese, but for a more rustic look, I used a fork to break it off the block. Now that I've plated the cheese, I'm going to go and add the bowls. So I filled three small bowls with rosemary marcona almonds as well as mixed olives, and I'm setting aside some marinated artichokes for my small board for later. Now I'm going to add the salami. If you don't eat meat, it's totally fine. You can just skip this step and make a cheese board or try a vegan alternative. I like to fold the salami in half and then in half again, and then fan it out in a row. And I'm just arranging the pieces around the small bowls. Also, feel free to adjust the board as you go. As you'll see in this video, I'm constantly rearranging the pieces as I place them, so feel free to make changes to your board as you build it. Now I'm going to place my artichoke bowl over on my sideboard and get started with my fruit. I took Macintosh and Pink Lady apples and cut them into very thin slices, and now I'm arranging them on the board in kind of a zigzag pattern. I also got some beautiful Tom Cord grapes and some red grapes for variety. I love draping them off the side because it really makes the plate look so abundant, like there's just so much food that it's falling off the table, which is kind of true. And I'm placing the Tom Cord grapes and red grapes all over the two boards. And now for the bread and crackers. I love this part. I got a baguette and I cut it into thin slices. And then I also got some olive and fig crackers from Trader Joe's. You can use any bread and cracker combo you like, but I really love the variety of a hearty, crunchy cracker mixed with a mild, soft, and chewy bread. With these boards, you want to have a lot of variety because not only does it look better, but there are more food options for your guests to choose from. It's already looking so good, and now we're going to make it look even better with garnish. So I have a plate of colorful fresh fruit, dried fruit, nuts, herbs, and fig jam. And I'm going to use this to add even more color and texture to my board and fill in any empty spaces in the board to create that overflowing, abundant look. I just added blackberries and dried apricots, and now I'm going in with some fresh figs and walnuts. This goes without saying, but just make sure that nobody has any nut allergies before you go and put walnuts all over the board. Now I'm adding my cute little jar of jam, some more fruit, and some sprigs of fresh rosemary. I think rosemary is my favorite herb. It's just so good and earthy and aromatic, and I'm using it to garnish the cheese and make some designs with the food and also arrange it so it's kind of poking out of the board. Also, please remember to just have fun and get creative while you're making this. I know this video radiates a lot of Virgo energy, but I promise you, you can't mess this up. If you just fill in all the spaces on the board and use ingredients with variety, it's going to turn out beautiful no matter what. Okay everyone, here is our Autumn Harvest Charcuterie Board. I am so happy with how this turned out. Mm -hmm. 
I love all the vibrant colors and textures on this board and how it brings together some classic fall flavors like apples and rosemary. This would be great to serve at a Thanksgiving dinner or any kind of get together this time of year. the link to the full recipe from my blog in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!